Hi, I'm Sagacious Zoo, and I play the part of the conflicted anti-hero. What was the most difficult? Hmm. Reloads. Piecing those golems back together isn't easy. To say nothing of getting the blood out of your robes. We had a disappearing die that helped, but it just doesn't hit the wall right, you know? <laughs> My favorite player model? Radiant Gen Z. She just looks interesting, you know? Plucky. Of course, some smartass would ruin it by changing her name during testing. I guess they used up all the good ones in the actual game. Creamy Nougat? What the hell is that? We... we all got along well enough. Uh, I had no trouble with anyone. We're not friends, mind you. I mean, it was just business. You have to be a professional no matter how much Sky bugs you. Did I just say that? Sometimes the competition got on my nerves, you know? I mean, here I am, clearly a badass loner with a dangerous past. And what happens? I'll tell you. Someone discovers drunken style and spends the rest of the game with that chucklehead hoe throwing booze at his head. <laughs> um... I'm classically trained, you know. Not just in the martial arts. Yeah. Uh, I got a few projects lined up. Art house stuff, so I don't get typecast in the Loner Enforcer role. But, um, check me out in Loner Enforcer 9, the Bloodney. The best of the series. Uh, I don't want to leave my fans behind. I see Jade Empire really as an extension of my previous film work. Dangerous Loner 2, Alone and Dangerous, Water's Edge, The Beach Razor Nightmare. I mean, come on, that was a classic coming-of-age story. Oh, and, uh, Cats. You know, near the end of the run, when it was more real. I was, uh, set to be a bad guy in a kid's movie about a dog that rides a champion racehorse. Uh, Air Biscuit, I think it was. But the guy that plays Zong the Ox Carrier told me Bioware was auditioning. And, well, I decided to take the pay cut to broaden my horizons. I think we're done here. Shut that camera off. <laughs>